Yo, what's everyone saying? It's finally that time of year. FIFA 19 is upon us. Let's hope it's going to be a year that EA allow us to just have positive vibes throughout. I've got so many different kind of videos to drop for you guys. And today, due to popular demand, we're going to be starting that road to glory. Obviously, last year, I only started foot champs and that around February time. So by that point, everyone had their mega teams with those same icons. There was no point in me doing an RTG then. But now, thanks to this legend over here, I managed to get the game a couple days early. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and all that, it's going to be purely based around Goretzka, my OG. Those of you that follow me on there, you know last year I loved that guy. I packed his informs, his regular cards, his team of the season. So that guy was with me from start to finish. And this year, we're going to be doing the same. Our aim is to get Goretzka in our midfield gradually build a team around him slowly but surely until eventually we can partner him alongside Hullet in the midfield to create the most OP midfield possible. All whilst giving EA zero pounds, zero dollars, whatever currency you wanna use, euros and all them ones. We're not giving them a single penny. We're gonna show that you can go from broke boy to big baller just by grinding squad battles, foot champs, SBCs, division rivals, all of them ones. You don't need to spend a single penny on this game. I'm going to prove that by eventually getting that hullet for 3 million coins in it. Like I said previously, I'm hoping to get maybe two episodes out per week. One on a Monday for a whole Foot Champs recap and uh, Division Rivals and Squad Battles recap. And then maybe on Fridays do a stream of all the rewards put together or whichever day is most suitable. So as you can see, first thing I did was obviously open my reward packs or loyalty packs, whatever you call them, for playing the game last year. I was hoping maybe get a cheeky little board or something just to get me started but to tell you the truth I don't even know how to recognize if it's boards or not I still maybe someone can say in the comments because right now I just look at them and I'm like this could either be a 75 or this could be an icon I was just hoping for something decent finally get boards in that and I end up with this boo new guy like just to totally rub it in no decent players whatsoever other than Adama Traore obviously he's very rapid I wasn't trying to waste any time you know like I said I'm not gonna be buying any other players until I have Goretzka and then from then I can finally start building around so I thought rather than go into division rivals with all these bronzes in my team and no chemistry whatsoever I thought at least let me play a couple games of squad battles just to get used to it so here's my team as you can see it's mostly Germany because that's the starter pack I chose just for the chemistry of Goretzka and that it's not a great team whatsoever I mean Wagner's got like 50 plays or something like that and obviously last year I used to play all my squad battles games on legendary but with this team I had to be a bit sensible and play on professional here because I've already missed out the first, what, two days or so because obviously I didn't have FIFA. So I thought, let me just get some guaranteed points and hopefully by the end of the week, maybe scrape gold one or elite three because last year I was getting elite one on squad battles every week for the first couple months until obviously everyone stopped playing. I played my first game of squad battles, got a calm 3-0 win. I was just getting used to the shooting. Might have been 2 no, I don't even remember. I was just getting used to the shooting, uh, how to pass, how to tackle, all that kind of stuff. There's Goretzka's price for you, so he's about 45, 50k. So we're gonna have to try to save up that kind of money. And then there's Mr. Hullet himself, 3 million. I don't even buy icons like that, so I don't know if that's a low price or a high price, if he's gonna go higher or lower. But all I do know is that when you start the game, one thing I forgot is to do these coin reward boosts because at the beginning, they're so vital in it. Like to get those extra thousand coins boost every single match, win or lose, is crucial to finally getting that you know decent starter team so all those players that I was packing before I just you know put them up for sale just to try gather them coins because you know I'm trying to get that 50k as soon as possible to get that Goretzka sorted in my team those of you that have SBC accounts know that the fastest way to get some coins is to complete those advanced SBCs so I picked the hybrid nations one did all four of those ones just to get some coins up get some players filling out in my club and stuff I was hoping I could get a little something something in the packs but they weren't really hitting like that for me unfortunately to be honest with you like usually one of them just kind of pops off and you get like a 20 30k player but again I haven't finished all the advanced I just did that one set of uh, four and as you can see here I put all of them up for sale the majority of them sold this guy I didn't know his price because he was like there was only like two on the market or whatever did the next one to get a mega pack and even though it's not you know crazy amounts of profit you're still getting more coins you're still building your balance to eventually afford to do the other SBCs because eventually one is going to hit you know one of them is going to give you a player at least worth 20k which again at this stage of FIFA is vital as you can see that Alvaro guy sold the other guy sold and I'm approaching 10k already after just playing two matches of squad battles which you can't really complain too much you know what I mean it didn't take me long at all the SBCs took me about 10 minutes each using footbin so 
definitely as soon as you have about four or five K, start doing those SBCs and sell everything. There's no point keeping unnecessary players in your club right now at this stage because you just want as many coins as possible. And there I got a 4K boost, which was fantastic from that pack considering how dead the players were in it. And whilst I was finishing that final SBC, I was getting excited in that because you know, when you get that bonus pack on top for completing the whole set of four, you know, okay, something juicy is going to come out of this one. So I opened it getting all excited and that you know i see is it boards i don't have a clue then i see the boards pop up i see the french flag center back i'm like geez varan is here and then i see man city and i'm like ah oh, it's just not not gonna be my day today unfortunately again i can't complain at least it's better than not getting boards at all pedro get and got me some coins the core as well looks a really solid card but had to get rid of him because he's not in my team i don't need him i need the coins i need that 50k asap open the next one boards again i was gassed neverland is it promise no the main man himself the ultimate meme bass dust already episode one this guy has come to troll me he has not wasted any time whatsoever i don't know how he does it every single time but he's just always there in it no no matter what but anyway yeah i sent most of them to the transfer list apart from those rapid guys because you know i need a couple super subs and that so i thought okay i've got 17k this is a really decent balance now but I can't buy any players until I have Goretzka first in my team. So let me bang out some division rivals, see what the rewards are saying. Because division rivals rewards come out on Thursday mornings. And these games were on, or they were Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. So I knew I had to grind out those five games. And the teams I was coming up against, they weren't mega teams, obviously, per se. But they were very solid, rapid teams with 100 chemistry, mostly Premier League teams. So... When you come up against my team with you know still bronzes and and silvers in there it was going to be quite tough especially you know considering these this is my first online game like whatsoever on fifa for quite some time and this guy races into a 2-0 lead with i think maybe my second shot of the game op bicycle kick i thought people were exaggerating on twitter when they said it's so easy but literally i didn't even mean to do it i just pinged it in and my guy wagner with his 50 pace just bangs that overhead kick but Unfortunately for me, you know, although I thought I was back in the game, it didn't take him long straight from kickoff. I can't blame EA for this one because this was just really bad for me. I don't know what I was even thinking and he makes it 3-1. It was just, it's not a kickoff goal person. Like it was, but it wasn't, a, do you know what I mean? Like it was my fault. I can I can take that one on the chin and, and in Bolo, even though he's in, just pings that one, top bins. I feel like I'm really good at shooting on this game. People have been saying they find it really hard in that, but for me, I get quite a lot of my shots on target and then they go in. It's just that time shooting that can sometimes cause me problems, isn't it? But yeah, we took an L, you know, fair enough, but we don't complain. We're still just learning the game and that. Here comes an even better team this time. Forward line looking very rapid. Morata's probably got good finish on this game, even though he's whack in real life. But I'll take the lead with my guy Wagner. He equalises with this. Yerimia once again with a bullet header here. Yeah. Cocaine Cannavaro, but come on, man. Where's goal line technology in that? That defo didn't go in, but again, you can't really complain because... Yeah, we don't lie, but check this banger from me though. Bernard, left foot, pings that one, top bins on the volley to make it 2-1. And then this one's just even better. He just sells that guy to the shops, pings that one, arrows it bottom left, 3-1. And I was feeling comfy. That's, I finally celebrate because usually I just skip it because I ain't got time to waste. But that was such a banger, I had to celebrate it. I could tell he was rattled. This one I started passing it around. Not passing it around the back, this was Pep Guardiola footy, do you know what I mean? creating spaces, making them runs, until finally someone's threw on goal, and then there goes Mbolo, doesn't finish it, but bang on the volley, Mr. Wagner, 50 pace, makes it 4-1, and I thought, okay, this guy's been paused for a while now, he's gonna rage quit or something, like, I gave him a little kiss to the camera to just say, yo, see ya, have a nice day, see you back in the menus, but he's one of these guys. He paused it three times for the entire 30 seconds, however long, he kept on pausing it as much as he could until eventually he realised that I wasn't going anywhere. I got the 4-1 win and he was out of here. So two games, one win, one loss. It's not terrible. I'm still learning the game, in it, So there's not much I could do about that. I broke the 20k mark. So we're approaching halfway and then we come up against this beast team. That forward line was looking wild. He definitely used all his XP points to get these players on those. So I was kind of worried that I was going to go 2-1 down or whatever. But right from the beginning hit the crossbar and again these rebounds from crossbars or saves or whatever i seem to be getting kind of lucky with them but wagner again 
people were right when they said pace doesn't matter in this game because this guy is clinical. Like he's actually lethal. I don't understand how. I hate playing with slow players. Um, Bernard obviously then uses his pace to make it three. Just dinks it over. I think that was it for the game. No, it wasn't. He got a red card and I got a penalty. Phil Jones just sums it up. My guy's looking around like, what's that? But this penalty sums up my ability from the spot because as you people know, I am not good at penalties at all. I don't know why. It's every single penalty, no matter whether it's powerful, soft, on target, off target, it's just gonna miss. But anyway, I go into my, what's that, fourth game and I'm two one up here, but like I said, the teams I'm coming up against, they're very, very tricky. Like, they're slightly OP starter teams. And because I'm not allowed to buy any players yet, I'm really rocking these terrible players. I couldn't even buy fitness cards or whatever. I had a couple from the SPCs and stuff. And check this penalty, because the first one, fair enough, I booted over. But look at that. What's wrong with that penalty? How does that go over? That's, like, perfectly in the middle. But anyway, I get this chip, yeah. I'm still vexed about that penalty, because... I've even taken out some of the ones I missed already these first two days because they were just dead penalties but that one was fine like there's nothing wrong with that this goal again a bit jarring like how do you finesse it near post like from the middle you know that's quite annoying but 2-2 two -two. we're going to the last game I didn't really mind if I win or lose now to be honest because it's just the placement thing so if I'm a division 7 level player I'm a division 7 level a 7 level I'm a division 4 level player then I've got to play division 4 in it I just want to play people that are on my level so that I can improve and this goal was just ridiculous like he just chipped it with finesse or whatever with this dead guy Defoe I don't even know how he's 80 rated I've battered him that whole half in fact it was two players I was playing against two people and finally I got my reward because obviously he had the Gea in goal he kept saving everything and this Defoe again jammy goals like that's when I, the, that was the first game where I was like oh FIFA is back in it, FIFA is back, my guys start asking me with the telephone and all that, I wasn't really feeling it at all, but again, 2 out of 5, there's not much I can complain about to be honest, they put me in Division 6, 1100 skill rating, so I think I played one game of this just to see how many points you get per win or whatever, because I didn't really understand it, so I, as you can see on my record, I got one draw, and now my balance is up to 32k as well, so this is now Thursday morning, I've come to collect my rewards now, so I think because I didn't really play high, I, only, I didn't play any games other than that one match. I got that three and a half K and a couple packs. So I was hoping to get enough to get me to that 50 K because obviously now I'm on 37. So I need 13 K or so from these two packs. And as you can see, pack King and Menyo is not starting today. And I'm gonna put it down to, I only start my pack luck when the full release comes out for everyone else. Cause this is still, you know, pre it coming out to the general public and that but I did get a nice 3k there so as you can see finally I hit that 51k and you know what time it is let's secure the big man Leon Goretzka by Munich now I had to rock the Schalke T just for this ladies and gentlemen let's go we got take of it for all nostalgia and that but yeah solid solid all-round player he basically doesn't have any weak points if we're being honest like he's just savage i'm proper excited to play with him to finally start building a team around him that i can actually you know try and win games or control games with because this is just not it at all bernard is on no chemistry that random silver center mid so those are definitely the ones that i'm going to be improving on in the next few episodes feel free to send me any suggestions you have for teams that i should build around him i've got a picture in my head of like a 150k team that i want to build to by the end of the next couple weeks but yeah i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the new fifa and i'll catch you guys in a bit for the next episode